Hi, welcome to Aquarium Amster. Today we'll be taking a look at this BT100 Pro battery analyzer from Foxwell. And I'm going to use it to test my Honda CRV battery. One of my more popular videos are the issues I've been having where I had with the Honda CRV starting it. And for this one, this can be used to test 6 volt or 12 volt batteries. I'll just show a couple pages of this. It's a very straightforward device. Even if I lost user manual, it's, I think anyone can figure out how to use it too. Over some of the pages here. If you want to read any part in more detail, just feel free to pause the video. Four more pages. Now, the, the battery I got, this is the interstate battery I got from Costco. So it's not a AGM battery. It's more of the uh, more affordable ones, cheaper battery. Here's the last page here. testing it is because the warranty time for this battery is close to up. Well, show the um, if I can capture it here. So the CCA is 500. First thing you can do is clamp this on. Pardon me while I try to do this with just one hand. Red one on, then the black. Now it's powered. Hit enter. If you can tell, um, it's pretty cold outside. It's, pretty, it's about 30 degrees Fahrenheit, a little over 30. We'll do a battery test. It's in the vehicle. Regular type of battery for a CCA. Set to 500. Let's do a test. It's measured at three, it's under, it's under 400, even though it's rated for 500. I did have this battery for, I'm gonna say, at least two years since I last had the uh, CRV problem. So I think it's about time I bring this in to get it replaced. The reason I, start, I thought about starting to test this is one, winter is coming, and two, when I start the vehicle, sometimes I need to crank it more than once just to start the vehicle. So something like this is very useful. It it's quickly reaffirms that my suspicion is it's the battery. Or it could, if it said it was 500 over here, then it could be something else. Hit back. Here are some of the other options here. View results. You change the language, version info. I'll place the link to this item below. It's inexpensive. I think it's a great tool for those that just want to do a little quick troubleshooting yourself. Tools like this, tools like the OPD2 meter, those can save, those have saved me a lot of money. These are great DIY tools. I like this, I recommend it. Well, thanks for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Bye.